what are the qualifications for becoming a scholar in Islam? The qualification of becoming a scholar in Islam is that you learn this knowledge from the people of knowledge. You learn it direct, not by books, not just by internet, not by articles. You sit face to face with the scholars, not for one month or two months, years. Years until you sit in front of them. What's the, okay, what's the qualification of being a doctor? What's the qualification of being a doctor? If I read books of medicine for 10 years, and I've never ever practiced with a doctor, or been with a doctor in a hospital, and I'm a, you like me as a person, would you bring your son if he gets sick, would you bring him to me? Why? But I've been reading the books for the last 10 years. Every single book that, you know, those doctors in the hospital read, I've read them. Well then you come to me. You're going to say simply because you've never practiced with doctors. You've never sat down with doctors. You've never been in a hospital. This is the qualification of a doctor, this is the qualification of a scholar. Sit down with scholars, learn from the scholars, take knowledge from the scholars for a number of years. Number of years, if I tell you, look, I've practiced in hospital for one year, would you, you get sick, would you come to me? I'm going to say, no, no, at least six, seven years. At least, isn't that what's a condition of being a doctor? Same thing for a scholar. Same thing, subhanAllah. When it comes to the dunya, no one dares to give a fatwa. No one, oh, okay. when someone is sick, go and see a doctor. When the car is breaking, go and see a mechanic. When someone needs medicine, go and see a pharmacist. When the computer is down, go and see an IT. When it comes to the deen, everyone is a mufti. <laughs> everyone. The ones who've been in the deen for one day and the ones who've been in the deen for 20. Everyone is a mufti. Everyone wants to talk about the deen. Everyone wants to put their two cents worth in the religion. When it comes to the dunya, everyone's quiet. No, no, guess we see the specialist. If it's computer, go to the IT. If it's medicine, go to the doctor. If it's in a car, go to the mechanic. When it comes to the deen, everyone has the opinion. Wallahi, sometimes I'll be sitting down with people and someone asks me a question, Sheikh, what's the ruling on this? How say that? Some guy pops out, no, 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 no. But this, no. subhanAllah, who are you? Like, like, what are you? Like, 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 with all full disrespect. Why when it comes to other issues, you're quiet and everyone respects the mechanic and everyone respects the doctor and everyone respects the pharmacist, everyone respects the mechanic when he talks about cars. And everyone respects the pharmacist when he talks about medicine. And everyone respects the doctor when he talks about medical things. But when it comes to the deen, everyone wants to talk. Everyone wants to give his two cents worth. A scholar is someone who learned from scholars, sat down with scholars, learned the books from, with the scholars for a number of years. Not one or two days, 